This is iPad Pro. Today I'm going to be showing off some of the major features and demoing accessories like Apple Pencil and Smart Keyboard. So first off, iPad Pro has one of the best displays in any tablet. With ProMotion, the pixels on screen have a refresh rate of 120 hertz, which is double that of the original iPad. As you can see, just by swiping through apps, everything already looks smoother. But an app like Starwalk really shows off how clean ProMotion is. Now, with iOS 11 and the A10X Fusion processor, we can engage in things like multitasking. To swipe up from the bottom, we get access to our dock. On the left side, we have my customizable row of apps. And on the right side, we have the apps that we used the most recently or maybe the most frequently. So let's say I wanna open Safari. I'm just gonna drag right here. Then I can enter split screen so I can decide where I want each app to be placed on screen and how much of it I wanna see. So for now, let's keep it in the middle. And let's say I wanna replace Starwalk with notes. I'm just gonna drag from the dock, release, and there we go. So let's say I wanna find a picture on Google of a pirate ship. You can drag and drop, hold it here, and bring it into notes just like that. If I'm bored, maybe want something to wake up with, I can start watching my favorite TV show, and it won't harm my workflow. I can just minimize right here, change the size, and then get back to work. Now, to show off the Apple Pencil, I'm gonna move over to the 12.9 inch iPad Pro so we can make use of that extra screen. So here I am with the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I can take Apple Pencil, uncap it to reveal lightning connector, and pair it with my iPad just by sticking it into the lightning port at the bottom. This also serves as the charging method. A 15 second charge gives you about 30 minutes of battery life. Think of it like sharpening a pencil. So Apple Pencil is still great on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro for things like annotating PDFs or taking notes. But if you're an artist, you might wanna consider the bigger size to make use of that bigger screen real estate. So first of all, we can use an app like uh, GoodNotes to show off some of the note taking features. I can change between the pen that I'm using, change my highlighter color. Then I can use my fountain pen and change the width of it. Let's say I want pink to be alliteration. And then I wanna go back here and highlight a dream within a dream. I can also take additional notes change the size again, change the color. If I don't like that, I can undo or I can just erase it. And I can also use this lasso tool right here to change the placement of some of the notes that I've taken. Now, we can also unleash our creativity with apps like Procreate that let us draw or manipulate photos, for instance. So let's say I want a brush, change the size, pick a color and start adding onto his beard. I can also in Procreate, for example, import photos that I found online or from my camera roll and add those into the picture, use it as a color palette so on and so forth. There's a lot to explore with this app. And you can also check out other apps like uh, Adobe Sketch or Adobe Draw, which are also great for doing things like making logos or illustrations. So that's all for Apple Pencil. With the Smart Connector exclusive to the iPad Pro lineup, you can make iPad even more productive with accessories like the Smart Keyboard. Fit and light, clips on just like that, Covers your iPad like the regular smart cover, but extends to reveal a full-size, water-resistant, fabric-coated keyboard. You can do this to take notes or go to your favorite website. If you want to unlock some more viewing angles, maybe to play a game or watch some TV, you can just fold it like this. Excuse me. And there you go. If you want to see this more hands-on, Go ahead, come to the store, stop by, and try it for yourself.